extrapyramidal system. Number of centers in their associated tracts which influence motor activity without passing in pyramidal tract. The functions are regulation and integration of voluntary movement activity, regulation and maintenance of muscle tone, regulation and maintenance of emotional and associative movements. The centers include cortex mainly frontal loop, basal ganglia, salamus, subsalamus, hypothalamus, midbrain, substantia nigra and red nucleus, pons, reticular nuclei, and cerebellar nuclei. Lesions affecting extrapyramidal system are characterized by disturbed voluntary motor activity, disturbed regulation of muscle tone, disturbance of emotional and associative movements. In Parkinsonism we have bradykinesia, while in Korea we have exaggerated or emotional instability. And for disturbed regulation of muscle tone we have hypertonia in Parkinsonism or hypotonia in Korea. Disturbed voluntary motor activity, hyperkinesia, static tremors, they are involuntary, static, increased by stress, decreased with sleep. In Parkinsonism, they are regular, rhythmic, distal, more than proximal, and money count. In Korea, irregular, dysrhythmic, proximal, and purposeless movements. Movement disorders are classified into akinetic rigid syndromes and dyskinesia. Akinetic rigid syndrome, slow movement with increased tone, such as Parkinsonism, Parkinsonism plus, Wilson's disease, and childhood akinetic rigid syndrome. Dyskinesia includes tremors, chorea acetosis, dystonia, paroxysmal and dyskinesis, tics and myclonus, or fasciculations. Parkinsonism or shaking palsy, the most common neurodegenerative disorder characterized by deficiency of dopamine from substantia nigra and basal ganglia, resulting in hypertonia, bradykinesia, and tremors, pathophysiology, degeneration of the dopaminergic cells of substantia nigra and mild frontal lobe atrophy, loss of normal melanin pigment with deficiency of dopamine, the hallmark of the disease, presence of Lewy body, which has high concentration of alpha cyanucleon, primary Parkinsonism and secondary Parkinsonism, primary, we have familial, 5%, idiopathic or sporadic, 75%, other degenerative diseases such as progressive supranuclear palsy, stratonegral degeneration, shy dragger syndrome, genetically mediated disorders such as Wilson's, spinal cerebra, uh, cerebra, uh, cerebral atrophy, Huntington's disease, secondary Parkinson's, inflammatory post-insphalitic, vascular cerebral atherosclerosis, traumatic repeated head trauma, metabolic hypothyroidism, neoplastic tumors of the basal ganglia, atrogenic neuroleptics, anti-epileptics, anti-emetics, missile dober, zerbine, uh, lithium, toxic, manganese, cyanide, methanol, carbon monoxide. Clinical picture, resting tremors, regular rhythmic rate 4 to 8 per second, beginning unilaterally in the upper limbs and spreading to all limbs, giving pill, rolling posture of the thumb, moving rhythmically forwards and back to the palm, increased by emotional stress and fatigue, disappearing, not by rest because it's called resting tremors, but it disappears during sleeping and voluntary movement, rigidity, affecting proximal more than distal muscles, rigidity occurs more in flexors of neck, trunk, limbs, leading to bent-like attitude, rigidity may be present throughout the movement to the same degree, lead pipe or cogwheel, Hardly starting uh, the act of walking, leading to slow shuffling or so a short steppage gait with propulsion. Loss of emotional and associative movements, bradykinesia, immobile face, infrequent blinking, mask face, monotonous speech. Loss of arm movement or swinging during walking. Other associations usually occur in pulse encephalitic type, such as glabella reflex, pyramidal signs, impotence, amenorrhea, diabetes insipidus, greasy face, cyanorrhea, oculogyric crisis, sudden spasm of conjugate eye movements, mainly upwards. The most common causes of Parkinsonism are paralysis, agitans, primary, post encephalitic, and atherosclerotic. We are going to compare between them. So, the age in paralysis agitans. 40 to 60, in post encephalitic any age in atherosclerotic more than 60 years, onset gradual in paralysis agitans with progressive course, in post encephalitic acute onset with regressive or stationary course, and in atherosclerotic gradual onset with remission and exacerbation. Rigidity in paralysis agitans tremors more than rigidity, while in atherosclerotic rigidity more than tremors, while in post encephalitic both are equally marked. Possible associations in post-encephalitic oculogyric crisis, greasy face, cellaria, diabetes, and cervical pyramidal signs, while in atherosclerotic hypertension, coronary heart disease, diabetes mellitus, and pyramidal signs. Treatment of Parkinsonism. 
Parkinson Parkinsonian manifestations due to imbalance between the level of dopamine and acetylcholine in substantia nigra and basal ganglia. So Parkinsonism is treated by increasing dopamine or decreasing acetylcholine. We're going to start with anticholinergic drugs, which may be natural, belladonna alkaloids, atropine and hyacine, they are not used, synthetic alkaloids, bipyridine and benzotropine, side effects, blurry vision, dry mouth, retention of urine, percept precipitation of closed angle glaucoma, confusion, hallucinations, and cognitive impairment. Anticholinergic drugs are better used for treating tremors in young patients and dystonia. The dosage, bipyridine 2 mg tablets, benzotropine 2 mg tablets. And then we have levodopa. Dopamine itself cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, so we use its precursor levodopa, which can cross. The dosage is I'm not sure about it, so I'm not going to say it. We increase it gradually till improving. The side effects are GIT disturbance, arrhythmia, chorea, uh, hypotonia, epilepsy, psychiatric manifestations such as this depression, confusion, and hallucinations. Levodopa plus carbidopa or cinnamon is a gold standard for treatment because levodopa is decarboxylated preferably by the liver into dopamine and this would, uh, would make it unable to cross the blood-brain barrier, leading to decreased therapeutic effect and appearance of the side effects of L-DOPA due to increased preferred dopamine. So carbidopa inhibits the preferred decarboxylation of L-DOPA into dopamine. The dosage L-DOPA to carbidopa, tw uh, 200 to 50 mg, if continuous release tablets, levocarbidopa mixture is better used for treating rigidity and bradykinesia, Dopamine agonist, non-alkaloid and alkaloid, non-alkaloid, ropinirole, alkaloid bromocreptin or cobergoline. Amantadine prevents dopamine uptake by neurons. It, uh, it's of new role in the management of drug-related dyskinesia. The dosage 100 to 300 mg per day. Side effects, confusion, hallucinations, ankle edema, levido reticularis and insomnia, MAO B inhibitors, monoamine oxidase B inhibitors, mild symptomatic effect used as a, 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 a adjuvant, adjuvant therapy to levodopa, uh, such as siliglin or rosagline, side effects, dry mouth, confusion, hallucinations, and insomnia. Compt inhibitors increase the amount of levodopa reaching the CNS, useful for end-of-dose deterioration, such as intacapone, prescribed with each dose of levodopa, side effects, diarrhea, excess dopaminergic effects, this kind of diseases, Surgical treatment, paledectomy, thalamotomy, or bilateral deep brain stimulation of the subthalamic nucleus, troubles in treatment on and off phenomena and wearing off phenomena or end of dose deterioration. The duration of benefit following an individual dose becomes progressively shorter until it approaches the half-life of the drug. On and off phenomena, fluctuation of motor response and dyskinesia after long-term treatment with L-DOBA. First, signs of Parkinsonism increase as if the drug is not working, this is the off episode, then alternating rapidly with drug over effect, mainly chorea, this is the on episode. So we manage those cases by occasional drug holiday, drug, to be, uh, drug is taken one hour before and two hours after food or means for maximum absorption, protein restriction, Amino acids, uh, amino acids compete with L-DOPA for transport and decreases its level at site of action. Add other drugs or substitute drugs. Differences between rigidity and spasticity. Rigidity extrapyramidal, spasticity pyramidal. Rigidity proximal more than distal, flexors of upper limb, lower limb and trunk. Spasticity distal more than proximal, flexors of upper limb, extensors of lower limb and trunk. Character, lead, pipe, or cogwheel in rigidity, clasp knife in spasticity, reflexes, hyperreflexia in rigidity, and hyperreflexia in spasticity. Chorea, involuntary, static, irregular, dysrhythmic, sudden jerky, pseudo-purposeless pseudo movement of any part of the body due to lesion in codate nucleus, idiopathic, toxic, autoimmune, encephalitis, familiar, vascular, and idiopathic. We have different kinds. Rheumatic chorea or Sidnans chorea, chorea gravidarum, hemibalismus, Hunting, hun, Huntington's chorea, aphitosis, and those are the types. Rheumatic chorea or Sidnans chorea, one of the major criteria of rheumatic fever, it occurs late, so the ESR is not elevated, never occurs with rheumatic arthritis, it occurs in, fem in females more than males from age 5 to 15. 
clinical picture, quick movement affecting all body, face, tongue, extremities and trunk, but in proximal muscles more. It's involuntary, static, increased by stress, decreased by sleep, irregular dysrhythmic purposeless. Movements include grimacing, jerking of shoulders, shaking of hands and feet, inability to protrude tongue unsupported by teeth, hypotonia, pendular knee reflex. When the patient stretches his arm, there is flexion of wrist and hyperextension of the metacarpopharyngeal joint and interpharyngeal joints with fanning of fingers. When the patient elevates and spinates his arm, they, devi they deviate downwards and laterally become pronated. Emotional instability, sudden crying or laughter, treatment, adequate bed rest, physical and speech therapy, medications, haloperidol, levetiraxtam, and tetrabenazine. Chorea gravidarum usually occurs in prime gravida in fourth and fifth months of pregnancy. Rheumatic chorea precipitated by stress of pregnancy, treated as rheumatic chorea. Hemibalismus, acute onset of severe violent movements of large amplitude in one side of the body. It may be severe enough to throw the patient from the bed due to vascular lesion, infarction or hemorrhage, and rarely due to disseminated sclerosis in the subsalamus treated by phenothiazine or haloperidol to control the movement, Huntington's chorea, heredofamiliar chorea, autosomal dominant, occurring in age ranging from 40 to 60 years, gradual onset, progressive course, pathology, degeneration and atrophy of head of caudate nucleus and putamine bilaterally, leading to severe and excessive chorea movements, interfering with feeding, walking and daily activities, moderate gyral atrophy in the frontal and temporal loops, leading to emotional disturbance, Decreasing work, work performance, inability to manage responsibilities, behavioral and memory changes, management, genetic counseling before starting family to detect carrier state, phenothiazine and haropyridol to control movement, aphitosis, involuntary, irregular, static, snow, snake-like movement, commonly involving face and extremities, associated with hypertonia, maybe congenital, crinectrous, or acquired post treatment anticholinergic drugs show dramatic response. Dystonia, sustained muscle contraction resulting in twisting and repetitive movements or postures that are due to co-contraction of antagonistic muscles. Clinical picture, implantry, slow, torsion or twisting-like movement involving neck, trunk, muscles of extremities associated with hypertonia during movement and normal tone in between. Dystonia, it may be generalized, familial disorder starting within childhood, focal affecting one part of the body or segmental affecting two or more adjacent body parts. The focal type, such as cervical spasm of neck muscles, eyelids, rabbit blinking, involuntary spasm of eyelids, oral mandibular voice box and vocal cords, hand and forearm. Treatment, consider trial of L-DOPA. In any patient with onset less than 40 years, anticholinergic drugs, and in severe resistant cases, local botulinum toxin. Wilson's disease, autosomal recessive disorder of copper metabolism due to deficiency of seroplasmine, which normally binds 98% of copper, leading to copper deposits in all organs, GIT, hepatitis, pancreatitis, etc., cornea producing golden brown ring, Kaiser Fleischer ring, which is diagnostic, basal ganglia extra pyramidal. Affections such as choreoacetosis, dystonia, tremors, and bradykinesia, tardive dyskinesia, involuntary movement of face, mouth, tongue, extremities due to long term treatment with major tranquilizers such as phenothiazines, haloperidol. Response to treatment is poor. Ticks, involuntary stereotyped repetitive movements, shrugging, blinking, the patient is aware, tries to control it but fails, occurs in neurosis, myoclonus, sudden involuntary jerking of a single muscle or group of muscles, causes physiological, during falling asleep or awakening, essential, benign conditions, epileptic, as an aura of grand mal or myclonic petite mal epilepsy, symptomatic or progressive, part of another disorder, familial and degenerative, familial lipid storage disease, degenerative Alzheimer, metabolic hepatic uh, or renal failure, treatment, treatment of the cause, clona plus clonazepam and valproate, valproate, Tremors, static tremors, postural and action kinetic tremors, and tension tremors. Tension tremors seen in diseases of cerebellum worsen with alcohol. Tremors of limbs or head, which worsen at end point of movement. Postural and action kinetic tremors, physiological present, exaggerated physiological anxiety and sleep deprivation. Drugs, 
ثايفيلين ليثيوم كافيين ميتابوليك هايبرثيرويديزم هايبوجليسيميا اسينشال اوتوسومال دومينانت بيشنت كومبلينز اوف شيكينج افكتينج هاند رايتينج اند فويس تريمرز دمينيش ويز الكهول فيسيولوجيكال سو وي هاف فيسيولوجيكال اكزاجريتد فيسيولوجيكال دراجز ميتابوليك اند اسينشال ذن وي هاف ستاتيك تريمرز باركنسونيزم توكسيك الكهول ميركوري كوكين هيباتيك فيلير فلابينج تريمرز ويز اوت ستريتشد ارمز Hyperthyroidism, fine rapid tremors in outstretched hands, hysterical, irregular, varies from time to time, essential, age less than 25, positive familial history, stationary throughout life and controlled by propranolol, senile in old age, more fine and rapid than Parkinsonism and they are not associated with any rigidity. Then we have nystagmus. Nystagmus is rhythmic oscillation of eye movement in a horizontal, vertical or rotatory direction. Eye position is maintained by retinal input to cerebral cortex and vestibular impulses passing to vestibular nuclei in brain stem and to cerebellum. So descending fibers supplying the ocular muscles control eye position and fixation. Nystagmus is a sign of a disease in retina or oculomotor and or vestibular and brain stem or cerebellum. Involuntary oscillation is initiated by slow drift of the eye. If followed by a corrective fast phase, it's called jerky nystagmus. While if both phases have equal velocity, it's called pendular nystagmus. Direction of nystagmus is described by the fast phase. We have retinal ocular nystagmus, vestibular or labyrinthine nystagmus, brainstem and cerebellar nystagmus, brainstem lesions, infections, trauma, neoplasm, associated with primitive tract lesion, cerebellar, cerebellar ataxia, characters jerky, fast phase and slow phase, multidirectional, fast phase to the side of the gaze, if the patient looks to the right, the fast phase will be towards the right and vice versa, retinal and ocular nystagmus, physiological, if the eye is following moving objects, pathological, impaired visual input as corneal opacity, cataract, retinal defects, so the fixation is impaired, and the eye is vainly searching, characters rapid, pendular and persistent, vestibular and labyrinthine nystagmus, physiological induced as in caloric test or rotational acceleration, pathological as in lesions affecting vestibular nerve or labyrinth, such as vestibular neuritis, Meniere's disease, acute labyrinthitis, characters jerky, slow phase to the side of the lesion and fast phase to the normal side usually associated with vertigo, tinnitus, and loss of hearing. And this concludes our part for the extrapyramidal diseases.